Well, what do we have for you guys? Well, finally, we are going to talk about uh, a charity event that Arsenal is going to con conduct. But more importantly, we are going to talk about Mikel Arteta. Bukayo Saka might get his chance against Jack Republic. And of course, Dominic calvert lewin to Arsenal. Raheem Sterling to Arsenal. Of course, we're back to, to the drawing board. Riyad Mahrez to Arsenal. So if you seek daily Arsenal content, best place to be consider subscribing and of course hit that bell icon so that you get notifi notified whenever, whenever we post a video on YouTube. So if you've been wondering why we're not doing any watch alongs because the Euros are boring. They are. And those who are doing it, they're just milking the views because it's boring. Apart from the Portugal and Germany game, nothing excited me till now. But I'm, I'm planning to go for Portugal versus France game only, only if, 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 I, if I feel like because that's a do or die game for Portugal and France. So let's see what will happen. So the first news that we have is about Mikel Arteta. He says, as we take steps forward out of the pandemic, we are happy to play in a series which promotes better mental health. The last 18 months have been incredibly difficult. So many people, including many of our own fans, understandably need some extra support for their mental well-being. Now, what is this all about? So Arsenal, Tottenham and Chelsea are going to take, are, are actually going to take part in the Mind series this season. So it's going to be Arsenal versus Chelsea, 1st of August, 3 p.m. kickoff time at the Emirates Stadium. Chelsea then would meet Tottenham on 4th of August, Wednesday at the Stamford Bridge, 7.45 p.m. All UK time, by the way. And Tottenham Arsenal is going to be a North London derby on 8th Sunday, 8th of August at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium at 2 p.m. kickoff. Well, Spurs are yet to find their new coach. Who gives a damn about them, do we? No, we don't. Okay. So let's talk about a different, uh, very funny story. Well, Aaron Ramsey to Arsenal just does not shut up. I mean, this news is just going on and on and on. I'm just fed up of it now. So CalciumMercato.com, CM.com say via Sport Witness that Aaron Ramsey, in fact, decided his desire is to return to Arsenal. All parties involved are working away from the spotlight to find some kind of agreement. Ramsey would even be willing to lower his wages to secure a return to North London. Arsenal would only be willing to resign Ramsey on a free transfer. However, Juventus wants some kind of fee or player exchange. Juve director wants Balogun in, in return, but Arsenal don't want to include him in any potential deal. Can you imagine Balogun in, oh my God, replace of Ramsey? What? It's like you, are, you, you want to even try to slightly improve the present by uh, demolishing your future. Uh, nah, I'm not a big fan of it. So, Bukayo Saka's PE teacher says he was an outstanding athlete. At the time, I thought he could have gone on to be a professional basketball player. He was also brilliant at athletics. But on reflection and as a big Arsenal fan, I can say he made the right choice. Also, he hasn't quite reached the height I expected. He's the most humble lad you could meet, but so talented at the same time. He got on very well with all the pupils and staff. And also, England are considering bringing Bukayo Saka into their lineup for tonight's game, having endured a frantic 24 hours after Mount and Chilwell were forced to isolate. Now, Bukayo Saka could get the nod to start on Tuesday night, according to Sammy Mockbell. So, according to Eurosport.uk, Arsenal are, have inquired over Raheem Sterling and Riyad Mahrez as they begin to look at ways to enhance their front line for next season. The case for Sterling and Mahrez is interesting as it backs up claims from some insiders around the club that Arsenal could invest heavily. Sounding out such players is a sign of Arsenal's intent to show ambition in the summer transfer market, even though it is thought unlikely that either would want to join Arsenal for now. But yeah, they've inquired. So here's the big one according to, to Telefootball. Arsenal are keeping tabs on Dominic calvert lewin DCL. Well, as mentioned before, he's a gooner. So yeah, that would be crazy to see Dominic calvert lewin in Arsenal shirt. Sure. Finally, we'd have a striker after Giroud who can actually head the ball well. Although I consider Martinelli with a wizard from his head as well. So crazy stuff. Well, as we go on about, uh, according to some other sources in the past week, Arsenal have been linked with Aaron Ramsdale, Ben White, Yves Bissouma, Sambi Lokonga, Ruben Neves, James Madison, Andre Silva. In the comments, let me know which player do you think will Arsenal, like, would get, possibly would get, according to you, in the comments. Ramsdale, Ben White, Yves Bissouma, Sambi Lokonga, Ruben Neves, Madison and Andre Silva. Out of these, which one do you think? Arsenal are going to get. Let me know in the comments. 
So moving on, according to Charles Watts on Ben White, he says, I haven't heard that a second bid has gone in for White. Ben White is still at the Euros, so that's complicated. That has actually complicated things. Maybe it might have to wait until the Euros are over, until this transfer kicks on and kicks into place. Arsenal are certainly very much interested in Ben White and they are very serious when it comes to trying to sign him. And I would not be surprised if they get it over the line. So, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, strong possibilities of that happening. Let's move on with another episode. Ruben Neves, so according to athletic.uk, it is still expected that Ruben Neves will leave Bulls. Arsenal have expressed their interest, but that is exactly as far as they've gone. Only express interest as to, is this a player available? Okay, yeah. That's it. So, moving on. So, Joe Willock is still uh, Newcastle's top transfer priority this summer, according to Chronicle Live. Arsenal are keen to sign the 24-year-old English goalkeeper, Freddie Woodman. So it might be an exchange, as I already mentioned about it. Yeah. So, now, we spoke about Dominic calvert lewin Now, we're going to uh, uh, target him. You know, we are going to compare Arsenal's forward options and current Arsenal to important forward. So we're going to talk about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. So his crab cake looks like this. Now, 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 if you want me to, let me just, yeah, there you go. If you look at his crab cake, you know, attacking-wise, very mediocre, defensive, very bad pressures, pressure regains. Yeah, it's really bad for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. But talking about the possession-based stats, passes, pass efficiencies, you don't, you don't want to see that from a striker. But attacking point of view, those goals and XG, he had a very bad season, tormenting season. And also, the PM Rick Aubameyang's, you can see the short map of PM Rick Aubameyang. Yes. So now we're going to compare him with the other options that we have is Alexander Ishak. You see Alexander Ishak? Yeah. You can see the short map on target 41 shots, 80 goals, 17. Now, if you want to compare his crab cake, uh, Alexander Ishak's crab cake. Okay, Alexander Ishak's crab cake. You can see, look at look at the attacking. It's XG and goals. Superb, supreme. And the best part was attack value added. He's adding a lot of value to the attack. But there's some problems. Defending, he doesn't do any defending. Okay. And uh, talking about the aerial duels one and everything, I think he's a little better little better in possession-based uh, stats compared to PM Rick Aubameyang's. Only in certain the progressive passes is not that good for Alexander Ishak. But yeah, as far as I know, other stats look a little better. Okay. Moving on, so let's talk about Dominic Calvert-Lewin. So DCL being linked with Arsenal. Yes, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Uh, that shots 83, 46 on target and 16 goals for DCL. His crab cake looks a little delicious as you can see you can see the xxg goals slightly decreased but xg has been superb well yeah attack value added not that good compared to ishak but look at the aerial duels one he's a striker who's going to win all the aerial duels that you give him to win 88.4 that's a crazy stat defensive defensive actions is a little better compared to ishak and obama yang so yeah Dominic Calvert Lewin is really decent enough. Alex Lacka said 10 goals, 26 on target, 42 shots. 42 shots. Yeah, that's the headline. So, moving on about his crab cake, P Alexandra Lacka Z. You can see the XG goals, everything in the, in the attacking wise is very decent. Uh, defensive actions, look at the defensive actions. Superb, which tells you he, he adds more value to the defensive aspect of a striker. Everything else, the possession based is also decent. His pass efficiency is decent. And his build up is this is where Alexander Laka said is good. His build up. Everyone else is not that good in build up. So, you know, when you are actually bringing in Alex Laka said in the team, he adds a lot of value with a free flowing attack. Moving on, so Thomas Partey shared this on his Instagram stories, which shows that he could be wearing number five from the next season. Yeah. And also, number 11 will also be among the squad numbers available with Lucas Torreira set to join Lazio. Yes, he's joining Lazio very soon. So, that's a crazy stuff. Sead Kolasinac is currently negotiating with Arsenal to get his contract terminated. He will then join Fenerbahce, according to reports from uh, Photomac. And of course, 
uh, as poor, is poor, whatever. So they're they're telling it's gonna be, yeah. Fenerbahce. Moving on. Also, uh, according to Correa dello Sport, Arsenal will facilitate Lucas Torreira's departure to Lazio. The club will accept two 10 million euros installments so the player can leave. The player is also willing to lower his salary. That's according to Correa dello Sport, and that is the headline. Also. Yeah, that is it. So with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you see daily Arsenal content, best place to be. Consider subscribing and don't even look at any other transfer news portal because you get here everything. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Cheers. I'll see you in the next one.